Hey guys, how's it going? Dark Cinder 11, and today we have a very, very special unboxing. Um, if you can't already tell, it is a cosplay. And as we all know, I love cosplay. So, let me just stay hydrated. So, today we will be unboxing the idolized Noz Nozomi Togo flower bouquet cosplay from AliExpress. I will put the link in the description to the specific seller that I got. And um, so, this is my first time buying something from AliExpress. Um, so, I usually buy from Mike Myco Costumes. My costumes, something like that. Link in the description. It's where I got my Todoroki, actually, which is it's in the closet. My Todoroki boy. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Unbagging, because it's in a bag. It's not in a box. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, so the only thing, ooh, it came in like a Ziploc bag this time, so I can just actually store it in here, which will be nice if I can figure out how to fold it back up. That's fine. Um, so the only thing I'm worried about is the socks because the socks never fit me because I got thick anime thighs. And so I'm just really concerned about that but other than that there's not really much else I'm concerned about for this costume oh there's a lot of stuff here okay okay so we'll start off with the first thing which are all the accessories all right we'll save the, the best piece for last so okay there are lots of things happening so we have the headband, which has the flower, which is super cute. I'm just gonna, what side does she have it on? I don't even freaking know. Let me, her right side. Um, so then we also have, there are lots of things. Okay, so here's the bow that goes on the chest, chest, chest bow, which isn't sewn on, but it's got a pretty sturdy clip on it. So we'll see how it moves. I might have to hand sew it on myself. Um, okay, these, I know what these are. These are for the ankles. You put them, so this goes, this, so this was my ankle, which, okay. Um, you put your foot in, so your leg, my leg is my arm, and then this is where the shoe would be. So there's two of those, which are pretty cool. I hope they fit my ankle. We'll do a test on, test on, a try on after. Here are some pigtail pieces, some elastics. Pigtail pieces, good English me. And then here is the neck piece. Okay, so it is supposed to be like that. So here's the little, the little neck piece that's supposed to go in the middle of my neck. It actually fits really well. It's not tight, but it's not loose. And then there are also some some cute little clip-on earrings which I have like 
studs in stuff, so we'll see if I actually want to wear these. Um, and then there are also the socks with the, oh, that's kind of cool. So it's, it's a sock, obviously, but then this, the thigh pieces actually have the little frills, which is kind of cool. I mean, they look really stretchy, so hopefully they fit my, my thick thighs. There's an extra elastic, there's an actual like elastic in here. So, oh, and it's Velcro. Okay. So there's that, there's that sock. And then there's this sock with the, did they just hit my ear? That's oh, this thing. Um, here's the other sock. Does this one have Velcro on it? This one, it does. It's on the side though. So then you have this sock that has the little garter piece, which I'm gonna have to figure out what that's attached, what's got, that's going to attach to. Because again, thick anime thighs. And then the little bow with a little jewel flower, which is really nice. It's really cute. Yeah, because the the photo, the card also has that. So, so that's that. What's next? Oh gosh, okay. So here's the back bow. It's a little crinkled, obviously, because it just came out of the, what should we do, Hickey? The bag. So that's really cool. It's really got a lot of interfacing in it. That's the word I wanted, but it's kind of held on with a little flimsy piece. So depending on how the dress is, I will, I might sew this on. We'll see. Um, is that everything? It is. Okay. So now we have the actual dress, which is really freaking heavy. Okay. So we have the dress. This. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay, so here's the dress. It's got it's got padding in it. That's nice. So you can. You don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to. If you want to, you can. It's all personal choice, but there is some cups in here. It needs to obviously be um, fluffed out but it has crinoline in it. It has crinoline and the outer layer has some horse hair in it. And then there's just all the cute little layers here because this dress is very floofy. Um, so there is that. And then on the inside, it'll kind of be hard to see, but there's this little elastic here, which I think is for the garter strap on the sock which is really nice and with this one there's a bit of a stain that's okay um with this specific cosplay it's all laced up in the back so that'll be fun try and lace myself in it but other than that it looks really cute i can't wait to wear it and jump around in it so i'm gonna go try it on and we'll be back this is it well kind of because i'm too lazy to put the wig on and so the bows this one it's not sharp enough to go through the, the fabric so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just hold it here but other than that 10 out of 10 it's super poofy. It does need to be ironed though because again it was in the packaging so I need to iron iron it out. Probably let it sit for a few days. But the whole revelation I don't 
the socks kind of fit. They kind of fit. The um, the little lacy parts of the socks just want to fall down. But other than that, I really like it. Um, the sleeves are a little too short for me. But that's okay. Because the convention I go to is very hot. So, um, yeah, and then I just need to get different bra for this because you can kind of see it kind of peeks out on the sides there. But other than that, everything fits really well. I also just need to figure out how to do this back piece. I mean, I couldn't do it by myself because I'm by myself and I'd I can't reach and see at the same time so hopefully hopefully I can have it so that it's more tight around everything but all in all everything's pretty good it's got it's got the poof my flower fell off Okay, so the flower <laughs> just fell off the clip, which is fun. So, I mean, it was just kind of hot glued onto the clip anyway. So, I'm going to try to figure out what I got to do here to... Uh, to make the clip stay on the flower piece because they just they just hot glued it maybe I'll super glue it because this is just a fake flower so um all in all all in all it's pretty good pretty good costume I'm afraid to squat I'm trying to sit down that didn't work you know what it's okay Okay, so, overall, shh, quiet you, overall, the costume was very good, um, the quality is very nice, it's very light, so hopefully I don't sweat a lot in it, um, it looks pretty well made as well, so in total for this costume, including shipping, I paid $138.37 Canadian, which all in all, ain't too bad. Got here in about, when did I order this? I ordered this January 31st, and it has been almost a month, which isn't too bad, considering my convention's not till May, but I just wanted to have everything so I could see how it fits, and if I need to do any alterations to it. Um, but other than that, everything is really good. I'm probably gonna reinforce these little medallions here because they look like they're ready to fall off. But I mean, at least they're real. This, this gold fabric is real. Whereas, like, some versions I've seen of this cosplay, like, it's just the bust torso piece is just printed on, and then the fabric continues. But I honestly love it. It's super cute. It's a little bit different than the picture. Um, but, I mean, that's whenever you, whenever you buy something. Actually, it's pretty accurate. The only thing that it didn't come with is the actual bouquet that she holds so I'm gonna have to make a bouquet but that's okay so all in all I'm gonna give this costume 9 out of 10 which isn't too bad for my first AliExpress costume I don't think it's too bad it's not terrible 
but it's not like like quality times a thousand percent but it is good I will say it it is a very good cosplay and if you want to buy one of your own or any of the other characters they have this one seller does all of them all nine of them so if you want to be Umi, Kotori, Hanayo, Rin, if you want to be any of them I will put a link in the description below to this specific costume and then it'll allow you to find the other ones. You'll you'll know they're all by the same person because all the pictures are the same of like how they what their thumbnail was. So that is the my unbagging of Nozomi Togo's idolized flower bouquet cosplay from AliExpress. If you guys like this video, please comment, subscribe, do whatever, do whatever you feel. Leave a comment down below if you want to see some other things, maybe like a cosplay collection or I don't know, you just wanna you just wanna talk in the in the chat so you have any suggestions. Ooh, I still need to get the shoes for this. So if anybody has any good shoes out there, I've been looking, throw a link down below. Down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!